Um, that was a uh, to. I am. Uh, I want to be actually content creator. That's why this India at that night I was also filming and live streaming, and I was on the way back to my hotel. It was around 11:50 p.m. And there was a uh, two guys uh, standing in on the street, and one of them start yell, "I love you." And when you're making the content, people want to engage or are showing the interest. So I said, "Oh yeah, I love you back." But I was still walking towards my hotel, and he started approach and put his one uh, arm to my shoulder and tried to kiss me for the first time. And I was like, oh, "Okay, this is very uncomfortable. This this is not okay to happen." And I try my best to leave the situation, not escalate without escalating the situation. And then he started to grab my wrist and drag me to his motorcycle, where his friend is also standing. And he started to say, "I uh, I will give you a." Right. I told him no multiple times with a very strong voice because I don't want. I don't feel comfortable being this situation. I don't want to tell you my address. But I guess he didn't really get it, and he started to put his arm on my shoulder again and try to kiss for the second time. And at that point, my brain was kind of stopped, and I all I could think of is like how can I leave this situation without them following me and without escalating this situation so I just started to walk very fast towards my hotel and they started to follow me with their motorcycle and they stopped in front of me and they started to ask my uh, phone number and the best thing that I could think of at that moment is okay let's give them a fake number so that they can just leave me because if they keep following me I cannot go anywhere and I don't have anyone to help me at that point. So I was giving them a fake number. Even after that they didn't leave, they told me, okay, I will give you a ride. Luckily, there was one viewer who were watching my live streaming for the full situation, and he was near there. And he came to me to tell them to leave in Hindi. And after that, I just waited five to 10 minutes on the road, and I just ran back to my room because at that, even at that point, I didn't feel fully comfortable because I don't know if they're watching me, they're on motorcycle. If they want, they could just come back and follow me. So yeah, I just ran back to my room. That's what happened. Uh, what do you feel about Mumbai police taking uh, strict action on the um, other side? I think uh, they took an action very quickly. Um, yeah, um, I didn't call myself the police officer. Our station right after what happened because I, I was kind of panicked. I was just sitting in my room crying. I don't know what to do. I feel terrible, but luckily my one of my friends told me, okay, maybe we can, I can help you to post this video, tagging the police. They might do something, and I'm not sure they they took an action very quickly because the video went viral or not, but. It, they they call me within a couple of hours to make the, this as a case. Yeah, and I I got the call that they got arrested uh, last night 2 a.m. and I, I I still have to go to police station. Yes. Why don't you because uh, if you are on the street, because there were two guys. And they already show me very uncomfortable action that I don't want them because and I don't know what type, like it, with my reaction I don't want them to uh, provoke their actions if that makes sense if I say like I could have like say very wrong like it's very aggressively or maybe push it pushing how but I don't know what will cause what that action will cause for the future, and the best thing that I can do is just leave that situation without making any harm. Yeah. How would the action help up? Within within uh, within our day, our state day too. Yeah. How would this action of the Mumbai police? Actually, I am very appreciated and surprised because this thing happen. This type of uh, thing happened in other country to me as well. 
but at that time I couldn't do anything to make to call the police. So yeah, in India it's taking action very quickly. So I feel very appreciated, and I get a lot. Of, I feel yeah. Since how many days you are in Mumbai? And this weekend will be nightmare for you. Uh, I've been in, in Mumbai more than three weeks right now, but I'm I'm planning to actually stay more. I wanna still this. I don't want this one bad incident to ruin my whole travel and my passion to show the wonderful India to other country. What do you do with your profession? Uh, I am. I just started to be a content creator. That's why I was filming a couple of months ago. I want to be a, like a big YouTuber making content to show the world about the beauty of the other country and the culture. What message will be given from India and Mumbai to other countries about the quick action will be taken on that case? Uh, one message is in India that I want to believe that the police would have done the same thing even if I was not a foreigner or live streaming. I, I strongly want to believe that because this could happen in everywhere in India to Indian women or men as well. And second of all, for people who are trying to visit or considering to visit India, India has such a lovely places and people. I I am so sad that this video got this negative video got viral to let people know about India. But if you see all my stream. 99% I meet amazing people, I visit beautiful places, I try like very delicious food, funny puri chai. So I don't want you to, I don't want this one incident to ruin. Indian word, Hindi word is your language. Danyabad, 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 Namaste Danyabad. Are you planning to edit police station to record your statement? Yes, I got a call that they want me to be in police station. But I don't know what type of legal action should I do. I, I have no knowledge about it, so I will just go and check what, what should I do.